Welcome to our channel, Urbana Chateau. This is Carol and Parma, and I'm their daughter, Vivian. My parents sold their house in Colorado, both set out to fully retire, and decided to purchase a French provincial house in the same town that I'm completing my master's at the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. Renovating this quaint 1941 house will be the project we work on together until my parents can safely travel out of the U.S. to fulfill their dream of living and owning property in Europe. We will be renovating the foyer, staircase, and orangery to name a few, in order to bring this home back to its former glory. Join us as we tackle projects, design interiors, and explore the beauty of this historical area in the Midwest. Oddest little rooms is this room here. I call it the baby room, but it's in the architectural plans we have downstairs. It actually calls it the linen storage. And the interesting thing is, it's the only room in the entire house that has a lock. On it. So that's interesting. That there's a lock on it, so it makes you wonder why. And okay, so let's take a look. This past winter, Christian's mom, Kathy, visited us and we gave her the full tour of the chateau and of course one of the stops along the way was the baby room slash linen closet and we basically just wanted to get her opinion on what this space should be used for and we ended up being on the same page because we all kind of came to the conclusion that it just makes sense to turn this into some sort of adorable, cute office space. Um, you know, we don't have children, this was a child's bedroom at one point, and, you know, for this to be a guest bedroom, I don't think a, a full-sized adult would be too comfortable in this, um, sort of daybed area, so by having it as just like a cushiony daybed, but not like a full-on bed, it just made sense to turn this into an office space rather than, um, a full-on bedroom that just is really tiny. start working on this closet and this little tiny baby room that we call it which was the original um, linen closet linen storage room but we're gonna turn this closet that was built on a little bit after the fact it was an uh, addition additional closet built in we're gonna turn this into a work area. So, Herma has removed the doors, which is good, the louver doors that were on here. And now we just need to remove everything.
Real quick, I wanted to say how much work went into getting this door replacement. We had to buy a door at PACA that needed to be sanded and altered, and my dad hooked it on. Using the stencils to create the pattern on this accent wall took forever. I'm talking days. It took so long. And when you use a stencil and um, you know make that impression of um, that section on the wall, you can't just like really quickly reuse it because it's so wet it'll just like get everywhere. So I kind of had to like do these sections and then let the stencil dry and then come back in a different area and and do the stenciling. Um, I think like down the road, if there's a space that's big and you want something special like this, either do the wallpaper or like me, I feel like I'd be really comfortable just like freehanding some sort of painting. But this was really intricate and like detailed, so um, I think that for a smaller space, it'd be perfect to do again. But if I were to attack this wall um, and start over, I would just hand paint the whole thing and I I genuinely believe that that would go way faster than um, how long it took for the, the stencils. It just was absolutely super time consuming and I really needed to touch up a lot of areas anyway and this sponge became my enemy.